guys this is just a super quick video just to show you some fabric strips that I'm putting into my Etsy shop and um, you may remember oh gee four or five months ago I put some uh, vintage Victoria stripe fabric strips into my Etsy shop and I had purchased that from a little old lady at a like a country kind of farmers market and um, she was selling a whole bunch of vintage laces and all that and I was lucky enough to hear the story behind that fabric and um, I won't go into all of that now but I'll put the link to that original video down in the comments box below if you want to hear about it um, but at the time because I only purchased a very small piece because that's all she had um, the packs in my Etsy shop, I didn't have very many and they sold out really fast. And um, a lot of people um, asked me if I'd be putting any more in my Etsy shop. And at the time I couldn't because, um, yeah, I didn't have any more. But um, I said that I did have some similar types of fabric that I, I may put in at a later date. So these are two of the fabrics that I will be putting in. And this was actually in a large sheet, which I've torn into strips so that it's quite similar to the fabric that was originally in my shop. And it is a different pattern, but it is kind of floral. Um, anyway, I'll give you a close up look. So there's one that has, um, it's not red, the color on camera, I don't know if it shows up correctly, but this is more like a maroon. Very pretty. Um, it's, it's quite thick. I don't know if it's vintage. I have had this a while myself, but I don't know if it's vintage. Um, yeah, I don't know the story behind this one. I think I just picked it up in an op shop many years ago. Um, it is, it does feel like that fabric that I put in the shop um, four or five months ago. It's quite thick and it's got some sort of backing on it. Um, I don't know, it kind of feels like that thick old curtain material to me. Okay, so that's the red strip. Um, like the other packs, there is a wide strip and a narrow strip with the, with the same kind of pattern. It's a little different it's got this row here but this one um, I've also got some green now the green it does have that same feel to it but it's not as thick as the red so the green this green here it's not a dark bright green like it may look on camera the green is um, it's kind of an army green um, a bit darker than an army green more of a, I don't know, a faded olive <laughs> colour. I know it's so hard to show colours on camera. They always look different on everyone's devices, but very pretty as well. And it's got a wide and a narrow strip as well. So I'm going to um, make each pack with a wide and narrow maroon and a wide and narrow green strip. So this would be one pack. Again, I don't have many packs. Um, I think I've got six packs and a few scraps that I will just keep myself. But um, yeah, so I've only got six packs. The sizes, why didn't I measure before I started the camera? Um, the exact sizes I'll put into the Etsy shop description anyway. This size is... Hey, that's double. So it's about 104, 105 centimetres long, roughly, um, because these I've hand cut. They've got the torn raw edges. The narrow strip is roughly, actually I should give you inches. Oh no, wait, I can't convert inches. Hold on. So this is let me think it's about 100 i don't know 104 105 centimeters long one meter is about 39 inches i think <laughs> so
So this would be about 40 inches long. Is that right? Oh my gosh, my maths is probably wrong. I think it's about 40 inches wrong. But check the Etsy listing. I will measure it properly like I should have. The widest strips are about 11 centimeters wide which would be about four and a half inches if my math is correct so yeah <laughs> sorry i always have to work from one meter equals around 39 inches and go backwards okay so I'll put the proper measurements in the Etsy shop description. I know, I should be prepared. Anyway, so I've only got six packs and um, this is all I've got of this particular fabric. But I am in the process of moving all of my supplies from my original little craft bedroom <laughs> into my new craft room, which is my garage that's been kind of converted. That's why it's still a bit echoey. It's still a bit empty. And um, hopefully I will be letting go of some of these sort of things that I hold on to because I love them so much, but then I don't use them. So I'll be letting go of these. I may be putting some more stuff in my shop over the coming days. So um, apologies if you see a bunch of Etsy shop update videos, but I'll try and make them super quick. I just like to show them in more detail because on Etsy you can only show 10 photos and... Um, I don't know, you can't get a sense of the look and feel in a photo because it's just so one-dimensional. Anyway, it's gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. I don't think it's as gorgeous as the one I had four or five months ago, but um, they're really pretty. You can use these for um, little pockets in your journals or just, I don't know, line the pages with them, covers. Um, Petulia, the the one that sent me the Happy Mail yesterday, she was the one that used some of this fabric to make these gorgeous little sewing journals. She actually used these as the cover. Different pattern. It was a rose pattern. But she made these as the, um, as the little covers. And they were so, so gorgeous. That's actually what made me think, oh, <laughs> I do have some more of that fabric. I should, I should let it go. Anyway, you could also make little, what I originally held it for, I was going to make some little fabric pockets like that. Wouldn't that be cute? Little fabric envelopes. And stitch up the side. I just think they'd be so adorable. And because the fabric, it's not too, too thick, they could sit in a journal really nicely. You could even put a little flat button there. Anyway, use your imagination what to do with them. These are actually longer. I think the strips I had before were only about 80 centimetres. So, so they're a fair bit um, longer. But I'm going to price them um, the same. Except it'll be double because there's four strips instead of two like the other packs. Anyway, that's it. And uh, sorry, I've only got six packs. So um, I'll see if I can come up with some more. Because, you know, I do have a lot of vintage fabric that I hoard. <laughs> I'm a fabric lover. Anyway, uh, what else? That's it. And thanks for watching. Bye.